documentary type of politics that you know it's it's maybe that's new but politics has I guess been part of my artwork as people can see for quite a while now so it's not uh, such a new thing um, and it's if anything it's it's a duty and part of being in the Revolutionary Socialist Party which which I'm a member of uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a duty to do this so uh, and in regards to um, the actual election and Julia Gillard um, I'm not sure of my chances who knows it might be a landslide uh, victory but um, just considering reality it, it, it just might um, prick a few people's ears up and, and get people to listen to a few more um, real issues out there. How did you feel um, about the way that Kevin was deposed? I mean of, of course I feel uh, I feel sad for him as a as a careerist, uh, someone who was you know really believed in what he was doing uh, in broad general terms um, uh, the Labor Party uh, is is a party that I will be fighting against, as uh, as the uh, Liberal Party I'll be fighting against too. So, um, to me, as um, yeah, of course I feel for him personally, but on a broader level, um, you know, that's factional politics. And, you know, essentially, the country, the, the country, the uh, the country is being run the same by the Labor Party, um, no matter who's running it. Is is your standpoint at this point? That's right. Any party under the capitalist or that supports the capitalist system is um, something uh, I'll be fighting against. All right. So how are you going to beat Julia in her actual seat? She's coming on the show in the next hour. So um, if you want to stump up, stump up. Um, well, I've uh, got you know maybe a few uh, tricks up my sleeve. But, no. Um, <laughs> look, uh, we campaign uh, just as any other activist group does. We've. Um, Done a lot of grassroots activity, uh, fighting racism, um, fighting for working. I hate using that phrase now, working people in general, because it's that phrase has been done to death. But um, yeah, by your we uncle. believe that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> any politician out there uh, in history, I guess, uh, in modern uh, neoliberalism. So um, yeah, basically, we're fighting for workers' rights generally, uh, justice for um, asylum seekers and refugees. Um, you name it, it's, it's all about uh, bringing justice back, uh, economic justice as well for those who are really feeling the pinch out there. All right, um, just, uh, just finally and quickly, um, you can talk directly to Julia now. She's going to be on, as I said, on our show in the next hour, so you've got 10 seconds to, to give her your message. Fire up, big fella. Oh, hi. Oh, g'day, Julia. I recommend uh, you m make a visit to uh, Venezuela. Um, Venezuela is one of the best countries you can uh, get a real uh, taste of democracy in work or at work. Um, we could go together. I uh, actually haven't bought a ticket there myself, mm. but um, I recommend it. All right. They've also got these weird Miss Universe schools over there as well that are interesting sidebar to your trip to Venezuela. Good on you. Um, thank you very much, Van, and best of luck. It's part of what makes this country very rich. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go, Lisa. You specialise in interesting sidebars, Carl. <laughs> Love you for it. Want to come on holiday with me sometime? <laughs> <laughs> Time now for entertainment. Richard, what have you got for I've us? I've always wanted to go to Venezuela. <laughs> I'll tell you what, coming up, we're looking at a new Australian movie. It's called Matching Jack. It's about a young lady dealing with a son's illness and a husband's infidelity. It's a cracker. Stick around. That's coming up next. How do you know you don't have other children? Oh, I didn't know how to say.